Adam's Family 2. The animated movie. I didn't want to see this movie initially. At first, I was like, man, I don't want to see this movie. It, I thought it was going to be some generic, goofy, kitty comedy that was going to put me to sleep. And I was presently surprised. This movie is really, it's interesting. It's an interesting movie. I enjoyed this movie. To my surprise, because when I, when I went to go watch it, I was like, okay, I'm going to get drunk. I'm just going to eat food. This movie is gonna is not going to be good. This is going to be one of those, you know, generic kitty animated comedies that I don't care about. Because I'm not saying that I don't enjoy animated movies. You know, I enjoy the animated movies that have adult-oriented content. Like Inside Out is a good movie for the whole family. It's a movie that caters to adults and it caters to children. Where it has a positive message. It, it has something that is influential and it means something. It's not just a bunch of dumb jokes and stupid stuff happening, and that's it. It actually has something to say, you know, and I enjoy those kind of animated movies. I enjoy movies like Coco, Up, Inside Out, you know, Toy Story. The Toy Story series has something to say. I enjoy those kind of animated movies. Or Wally, you know, those movies have something to say. Have th Those movies have a message. And with Adam's Family, too, I didn't think it was, it was going to be the case. I didn't see the first movie prior to watching this because I got dragged to see Adam's Family 2. So I was just like, all right, I'll watch it. I wasn't looking for anything exciting. I went in with very, very low expectations. I went in, I went into watching it expecting it to suck. And man, was I blown away. I was so blown away by this movie because I went into it and I was like, all right, let's see what happens. But we have... Gomez here, who is voiced by Oscar Isaac. You know, he's the husband. He's the bumbling husband. This story kind of reminds me of Robin Way of a Robin Williams movie. It, re it reminds me of RV. Where, you know, the family in both movies, you know, they're, they're having their turmoil. Where is in this, in The Adams Family 2, Wednesday, who is voiced by Chloe Grace Moretz. At the beginning, she's at this science fair for her school or something, and she shows off this project where she can make idiots smart. And she's she hates her family. She's like, I'm an outsider and all this kind of stuff. And in RV by Robin Williams, there's kind of that same plot going on with Robin Williams' daughter in the movie. Like, at the beginning, you know, he's playing the hand puppets with her, and, you know... She's like this beautiful kid who loves her dad. And then when she gets older, turns into a teenager. He even says, Robin Williams in the movie, he's like, nah, I'm dad. I'm evil now, you know. And then he goes on the RV trip trying to save face for his job, but also spend time with his family. And then going on this trip, you know, they they go through a lot of healing. And that's kind of similar with this because Gomez, you know, he he wants to build a relationship with his with his daughter, Wednesday, who is rebellious and she doesn't want anything to do with the family and so he's like you know let's go on this trip so we can have this healing bond so it's it really reminds me of rv it feels just like rv's plot with, with robin williams it feels just like that but i enjoy it because then we, we we see wednesday and her going on her journey and she's trying to you know figure out exactly who she is as a person and what she wants to become in her life so she's navigating that and then pugsley she's constantly torturing pugsley she's constantly torturing him she's just i feel bad for pugsley she's just constantly torturing him and all he wants to do is just meet a woman meet a girl and be in love and that's it you know so i feel bad for him because there's like this one scene it also kind of, the movie also kind of reminds me of Sui the Suicide Squad by James Gunn. Because in the Suicide Squad, there are certain scenes where something will happen and then you see this text pop up on screen and it's very creative. It's very artistic. And this movie kind of does that where they'll go to 
it was like the Grand Canyon or Niagara Falls or something like that, and it will say the title. It will have a big text in big bold letters of where they are, or like Death Valley and stuff like that. That was interesting. But there's a scene where they go to Niagara Falls, I think it is, and then you know, <laughs> Pugsley's taking advice from his uncle, who's voiced by Nick Crawl, and Pugsley is just like, "All right, you know, how do I get girls?" and <laughs> And the uncle's like, Uncle Fester, he's just like, you know my book, you know, you read my book. And it's very funny. And so Pugsley, you know, follows his advice. And, you know, he, he goes to the uh, Niagara Falls and he tries to talk to these girls. And it's heart, it's heartbreaking because the animation of Pugsley, he just he looks like a cute kid. He looks like a really cute kid, you know. And I like his character. I like Pugsley. And it sucks what Wednesday's doing to him. And then, like, Wednesday comes in and she has, like, this voodoo doll and she starts playing around with Pugsley and all this kind of stuff. And the whole entire time they're trying to dodge, I for, I don't remember the character's name. I think it's Bill Hader's character, Cyrus, is, or is another character. I can't remember. But there's this guy who wants Wednesday's formula for making people intelligent. So then the guy sends in this weirdo with this big bulky guy who's supposed to track down the Adams family so they can get Wednesday's, you know, uh, sequence of, of, of whatever the scientific stuff is that she created to make people intelligent. So then they're tracking her. So it's like a road trip movie. It's a family bonding movie. And it's a chase film. And it's interesting. And it's funny. And it's really heartwarming. And I enjoyed it. You know, I enjoyed all the characters. We have Snoop Dogg in here who plays the character of it and the character has no dialogue really it's just a bunch of gibberish but it's nice because then they have a he the it has a heartwarming scene with was it pugsley or wednesday i can't remember where he's like one you know one point i shaved off all of the hair on me and here's how i looked and they don't show us the picture you know so they leave it to the imagination um but it's it's a very interesting this movie exceeded my expectations You know, this movie really, in in a lot of areas, this movie really exceeded my expectations. Now, is it as good as, like, the movies I just mentioned? Is it it as good as, like, Up or Inside Out and stuff or Coco, stuff like that? I don't think it is. I don't think it's as good as those movies. But overall, this is a good movie. It's a good movie. It's a good movie. It's a solid animation comedy. It has a good message and it has a good story that is 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 it's pretty perfectly executed i enjoyed it maybe it's because i went in with really low expectations that ultimately i really enjoyed this movie like i i enjoyed this movie so much that i did end up watching the first one after seeing this because i just immediately jumped into adam's family too not knowing anything about this except, you know, the history of like, yeah, the Adams family, you got Morticia, who and this is voiced by Charlie Star on they got a lot of great actors in here. And, you know, I didn't see the first animated movie, but I heard about the Adams family, you know, and all that kind of stuff. And after watching this and being very impressed and very surprised by the progression of the story and how I was interested in the characters and their journey. I ended up watching the first Adams Family animated movie, and in my opinion, I just didn't really care for the first Adams Family movie. It's cool, but I think Adams Family Two is better. Adams Family Two has a better story, and it's I enjoyed the Adams Family Two a whole lot more than the first one. Adams Family Two is a good movie. I enjoyed it. I had a lot of twists that I didn't see coming. Like I'm just gonna spoil it at the very end. You're thinking, okay, um, what's that character's name? He looks like Frankenstein. I can't remember his name because I don't, I don't really watch this stuff. I don't remember the character's name. But the guy who looks like Frankenstein, I can't remember his name. But, you know, there's like this buildup of, of Frankenstein going to fight this henchman that's working with the scientists. And I'm like, they're going to clash at some point. And at the end, you think they are. But then they, they, what's the word? They subvert your expectations 
and they don't have a clash because they actually know each other. They're like, oh, they they come up with some story like, oh, they they were in the mental the mental asylum together, and they don't end up fighting each other. And so I was kind of disappointed, but I was like, okay, you subverted my expectations. But then they had another surprise where it's like they built it, they built this whole thing up where you know at the beginning, Wednesday was experimenting on Uncle Fester, and he has these octopus tentacles growing out of him. And by the end, he turns into a full-blown octopus. And then this mad scientist guy who's the villain, who is like, oh, Wednesday, you're my daughter and all this kind of stuff. And they, they, they throw him in this, in this thing, and he eventually turns into this creature. And the octopus, who is Fester, and the scientist who turns into this creature, they end up having a fight. And... Since we didn't get, you know, Frankenstein, I don't remember the character's name in the movie, but since we end up getting Frankenstein, I thought we were going to get Frankenstein and the henchmen fighting because they're two big guys. That's what the movie's leading up to. They didn't have a showdown, but we ended up getting these two creatures having a fight, which I thought was a, a good, nice um, subversion of expectations. They subverted my expectations and did something even grand, even more grand. So I enjoyed that. I enjoyed the movie. I enjoyed the story. It was it was a pleasant surprise for me. I really thought this movie was good. It's a good movie. It's a fun movie for kids. It's great for the whole family. It's very entertaining. Uh, yeah, Adam's Family too. This is a good movie. It's a really good movie. That's all I have to say. <laughs>